there you have it, folks. This is Hormel Chili. Ghost Reaper. World's hottest chili. With beans. Made with ghost and Carolina Reaper peppers. And this is John. Back again with another food product review. And this one will be somewhat of a challenge. Um, as you know, in the past, I have tried different ghost pepper Carolina Reaper items. This is a limited edition Hormel chili, which they claim is the world's hottest chili with beans. This has ghost pepper powder and Carolina Reaper powder, which is number one and number seven hottest peppers in the world. Uh, these were only available at Target. Uh, you had to buy them in two packs, though only one of the cans was this one, and the other can was just regular Hormel Hot, which the hottest pepper in that, I believe, is jalapeno. But this one, I, I cleaned it out uh, pretty decently, just so when I was holding it, I wouldn't get it all over my hands or drip it on something accidentally. But while washing this out, like just like the fumes that came out of the can hit me in the nose and kind of uh, made my anxiety go up as I started fearing actually tasting this. I have ate uh, just a little bit today. I did drink a glass of water before this. Um, but uh, the closer I get to actually trying this, the more anxious I get about it because the the smell of this is bringing back some memories of other ghost pepper and uh, Carolina Reaper stuff that I've had before but I have the bowl right here in front of me so you can see here I'm gonna be very careful when I tip this not to get it anywhere close to dripping out I have my spoon you can see I'm gonna just drip this very slow because I don't want to splash it it is pretty liquidy. As I move this, the smell is hitting me. The uh, the smell of these these peppers has just ingrained a memory in my mind that uh, it it's a really a nightmare situation. Um, if you if you've seen my video before. I've done two things that really messed up my system. The 18 prohibited ramen. Um, that was a, I believe it was a ghost pepper chili ramen. I didn't even finish it. I probably didn't even eat a third of the bowl. But I got really bad stomach cramps and uh, didn't feel well. Then I actually did uh, another one called Cully's hottest ramen, I think it's just called hot, hot, the hottest ramen in the world by Cully's, but uh, I actually finished a whole bowl of that and probably not a great idea because the, the stomach churning I had for the 18 prohibited was just like up to 10 to the fact that I actually um, what do they call it? A, uh, a reversal of fortune and um hair on my glasses there that I was staring at. Going in, it's spicy enough. And the way it normally comes out is typically also spicy. But if it comes out in the place that it normally shouldn't come out, um, you know, it has a little bit of the stomach acid mixed in with it, it's not very pleasant. Uh, I'm very much hoping that's not the case today. If I get any inkling of my stomach hurting that bad, I'm not going to finish this. Uh, that's, that's just a, a smart thing on my end right here. So anyway, we're going to try it. Hormel Chili Ghost Reaper, world's hottest chili with beans. I take a couple bites, we'll see my reaction, and then I, I, have, some, I have some crackers. Have some cheese. Got some chopped onion. And I got just a little bit of sour cream left in this. 
And if this is a decent chili that I think like, oh, I can finish this, then I'm going to add some of that to it and see like actually flavor-wise how this tastes. But first, the first at least two bites I'm going to take just by itself. And I also have uh, some milk. Wish me luck here, guys. Interestingly enough, they call this with beans. And I'm trying to even find a bean. I see chunks of meat. Where's the beans? The ingredients are water, beef, pork, beans. Then crushed tomatoes, cornstarch, soy flour, corn flour, salt, chili powder. It has chili peppers and flavorings. Flavoring, sugar, soybean oil, green chilies, onions, spices, Carolina Reaper chili powder, ghost chili powder, jalapeno peppers, vinegar. With beans being that high up in the ingredients, I would have hoped that I saw a bean. Maybe the beans are just like mashed up in part of the sauce. Why would it be this liquidy? Beans, in my mind, would make it thicker. Why does my chili with beans have no beans? Did I get a defective can with no beans in it? Hold on. As you can see, I, I'm delaying the inevitable here. Alright. Let's give it a taste. That is definitely spicy. Okay. I'm gonna let this bite wash over me. Definitely the hottest canned chili I've ever had. Okay. So, I'm not completely dying. We're gonna try for a second bite. It's where it hits you in the back <coughs> of the throat. <coughs> it gets... <sighs> Calm down. We know that hiccups, hiccups is a usual reaction for me. <coughs> when things are spicy, <coughs> I would say when things are probably over 4,000 Scoville heat units <coughs> is when the hiccups really hit me. The thing is, I'm not not in really any like a a ton, a ton of pain right here because of this, and I'm saying that relatively speaking. I'm gonna, I've taken two bites, which is what I was gonna say I was gonna do. I think, I think I could eat more of this. I don't have any cramping going on yet. So let's go ahead and add some stuff to it. <gasps> oh. Let's add some onion. Ooh, that onion is... I just cut this onion, so it's really... fragrant and... Uh, 
I don't know what that chemical in onion is that makes you want to cry, but... That's what I'm smelling. Let's add some cheese. This is some mild cheddar Tillamook that I just shredded off of a block. Someone's going to text me about. <laughs> so I'm muting my computer so I don't hear those messages coming. They're just normal sal <laughs> saltine crackers. Let's see how much sour cream I actually have left in this. I had some cilantro, I'd use it too, but I don't have any. I thought I did, but I don't. So here we go with the crackers, cheese, onion, <coughs> sour cream. I'll take a couple bites <clears throat> like that. Something awful. Alright, here we go. I try something with ghost pepper or reaper pepper, I tell myself I'm not going to do this again. Because when I smell it, my body says, that's not for you. And I taste it, and my body says, I told you, this is not for you. And this one, as far as like things that have ghost pepper and reaper in it, that like you can tell by the taste and smell, the spice, relatively, compared to other things that have those in it, is not as extreme. This is definitely hotter than any canned chili you've ever had. Probably the hottest thing Hormel's ever made. But, like, I've, I've had stuff before that was just immediately tearing my mouth apart. The fact that I can talk to you and think of these words correctly should tell you that it's not at those extreme levels where I start losing my train of thought. Having said that, there's a distinct smell and flavor that I get from, I don't know if it's Ghost or Carolina Reaper, but this has it. And my mind has already created the memory associated with that smell and flavor. And uh, it's, it's like my body's already like, creating like defense reaction to it. and sour cream. I have really uh, dissipated the the strength of the heat in this. The thing is, it's all still there. It's not like it's gone away. I'm going to take a little sip of my milk. Mm. 
that's not to uh, not to alleviate the pain as much as just to get something else in my stomach besides the chili that I'm eating. I'm still debating in my mind how much of this I should actually eat. I'm gonna take a couple more bites of this. This video is already. This video is gonna be like an hour long if I finish this whole thing on video because there's no way I can just take this down super quick. It's not a matter of can I. It's a matter of should I. And I think I've already proven that I can eat this whole bowl of chili. But I'm going to choose not to. So I'm going to make good decisions today. Starting now. It's also, um, I feel a heat growing in my stomach. There will not be a reversal of fortune for this. Um, so, let's get to talking about this chili as a review. The flavor of it, like... Once you get past, in your mind, that smell and flavor of the ghost and the reaper, it tastes a whole lot like Hormel chili. So, like, probably other than those two things, it's the same kind of spices. In fact, I checked the, the can of the, the hot chili. And besides those two peppers, the ingredients are all the same in relatively the same order. One thing that uh, one thing that I'll note is how liquidy it was before. Now I haven't had Hormel in a while, but I remember it being like a thicker consistency chili. Isn't Hormel the one that has like the chunky soup? Or is that, oh, that's Campbell's chunky. It's Campbell's and Hormel the same or no? doesn't say Campbell, so I'm going to say they're different, but I remember canned chili being a little bit thicker and chunkier than this, and it said with beans. I didn't find a single bean in it, so unless like the bean is part of the sauce, the first ingredient is water. Maybe there's a lot of water in there, and it's just so watered down. The beans maybe disintegrated. I don't know. Does chili is chili that strong that it can like disintegrate beans? Is that what happened? Anyway, I'm gonna give the Hormel Chili Ghost Reaper world's hottest chili. It's a uh, it's a six out of ten. Flavor wise, it tastes. Like if you took a regular Hormel, watered it down, but then added a bunch of uh, 
ghost and chili pepper to it. To the point where the, the flavor, you can tell it's there, but it's just too overpowered spice. Um, it's, it's too spicy for me to really be enjoyable. When I added everything else to it, it kind of made it better, but besides just like a novelty item, which is why it's probably a limited time, probably why they make you buy two cans so they can probably make their money back from it. Yeah, I don't see this being like a thing they come out with a lot, maybe a once a year thing at most. As a special item. I know it is currently sold out the last time I saw it. Anyway, 6 out of 10. Too hot, too watery. No beans that I saw. But, uh, you, you can still tell it tastes like has a flavor of Hormel chili to it, just too liquidy, too hot to be enjoyable, really. 6 out of 10. That's a review. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you've tried this chili, or what's the hottest chili, C-H-I-L-I -I chili, what's the hottest chili you've ever had, canned from a restaurant, one you made at home, or otherwise. I've had habanero chili before that I liked. Uh, I think habanero is really the hottest pepper that you can use that has a good flavor and that will make things taste good and just not spicy. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. See you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, all those things. See you later. Bye.